Hello, I'm Heidi Westman Neal, an author in the middle of her career. I write novels and other things. For example, this short story collection. There's three stories in here and it's free online. Go get yourself an ebook. So, nearly halfway, looking at that 20K ahead of you, or is it in the rear view mirror? Noise. Or are you still struggling with your words? No longer in love with them? Finding them tedious and lackluster? Here's some sentence level tips that will help you improve your writing and make you feel better about the novel you're creating. Identify and avoid Filter phrases. Filter phrases are used to show a scene through a character's eyes. While you might think it would strengthen the point of view, the opposite is true. It actually weakens it by distancing the reader from the action. The scene gets filtered through the character instead of letting the reader experience it directly. Eliminating filter phrases will tighten your prose. For example, he saw the bear approach versus the bear approached. She heard a rustling in the trees. Mm, that feels a bit passive voice. Compare that to the trees rustle. Sometimes early career authors use filter phrases as a way of placing a character into a scene. You can still do that without needing to use a filter phrase. Remember yesterday how I advised adding more emotional resonance? Here's a perfect place to use that technique. The bear approached. His heart thumped. The trees rustled. What was that? she whispered. Now, not every filter phrase is a bad one. Used judiciously and skillfully, they can have their own power. She saw the bear approach. He did not. Eliminate weasel words in your narrative. Weasel words are weak, vague, Rather tepid words that don't add any power to your phrases. If anything, they weaken the authority of your phrases. Some common weasel words include basically, just, very, quite, so, relatively, probably. You can find lists of weasel words online probably find a lot more. Sort through them and see if any of them sound a little too familiar. What's a good way to discover if you use too many weasel words in your book? Use a word counter. Most noveling software applications have one built in, but if you're using Word or some other generic application, there are several online tools you can find. It'll tell you how many words you've got and what kind. Regardless of the method you use, keep an eye out for words you're in the habit of using. I'm guilty of using so and of course. Improve sentence rhythm and pacing. Sentences have a certain rhythm to them. This can contribute to the pace of your scene. Short, punchy sentences like in the bear example before, can add a sense of urgency. Long, languid sentences, especially ones that indulge in complex phrasing, can add a sense of luxury and beauty, but if used in overabundance, can be burdensome, weighing down the pace of a scene. This can be balanced by a combination of long and short. A good way to judge the pace of your work is to read your work out loud. 
Most computer devices and software have reading capabilities built in. You can read it to yourself or have someone else read it to you. If you do choose to read to yourself, try recording yourself and then play back what you've recorded. You may find that more effective than reading it live. I hope these simple yet mindful writing techniques at the sentence level can help you improve your prose. Maybe your words will stop sounding flat and start singing in your ears. I hope so. I want you to turn out writing that you're excited about. I know that might feel like you're getting into a long slog, but I promise you it's worth it. You've come a long way in the past two weeks. Let's keep going. Do your best to write every day. Feel free to comment below on how you're going. Keeping up? Struggling? I want to hear. And I will see you next time for tomorrow's pep talk. Novel in November. Pep, 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 yeah. Talk by Heidi Westman Neal. Let's try that one more time. Ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Adult-sized pop rocks. Mm.